algebraic fractions. At the top here, we have a quadratic over another quadratic. We're going to try and simplify it. Uh, the tactic here is to factorize. So if we factorize the top and the bottom, there's the top, which just goes into two separate factors there, x minus two and x plus five. And then the bottom, it was a difference of two squares. Notice that on the top and on the bottom here, we have some factors in common. We have x minus two. So if I cancel that with that, it's like we're dividing the top and the bottom by the same thing. We end up with just that thing as a fraction. Now I've taken off the brackets there because they don't really matter. It's fine if you leave them in as well. This is a simplified version of this. Because there are no other common factors here, other than one, uh, this is as simplified as it can get. Here's a slightly more complicated one. Ooh. So on this one here, we've got a quadratic over a linear thing divided by a quadratic over a linear thing. Now, just as a quick reminder as from a rule from GCSE, if you've got A over B divided by C over D, the rule here is we can keep the first thing the same, A over B, we can change the sign in the middle to a times, and then we can flip the end thing, that's D over C, which is the same as AD over BC. We can use the same rule if we're dealing with algebra. So we're gonna keep, change, and flip. Notice also we've got some quadratics around, we can factorize them. If I factorize them on our first step here, whoop, sorry, a bit messy, let me fill those in. Factorizing that first thing, we've got x minus three, so that's an x minus a three, and then open brackets, x plus one. And then this thing over here factorizes to this. On the bottom, we still get an x minus two, and on this one, you could leave it as two x minus four. I'm gonna factor out a two on this case as well, just so everything's factorized. Right, keep change flip. I'm gonna keep the first thing the same. I'm gonna change the dividing to a times, and I'm going to flip this over. So now it's the bottom divided by the top. Okay, switching all together, let's see what we can cancel out here. We're looking for any factors that are on the top and the bottom. Well, I can see a factor of x minus two here, which can cancel out with this one here. Anything else? Well, we've got an x plus one on the top and the bottom. They can cancel out. Nothing else looks like it's the same. So on the top, the things I've got left are two x minus three. And on the bottom, I've just got this factor, x plus two. I could leave it like that. I might just expand it out. Two x minus six and x plus two. Notice that when I did the factorization on this step here, it made that bracket look the same as that one. Whereas if we left it as a two x minus four, it might not have been obvious that those two cancel out. This is as simplified as we can get and we're done. All right, exercise 1b in the book has lots of these. Don't spend too much time on them. Um, they look complicated, but mostly you're just factorizing quadratics. The main thrust this week is we're gonna be learning something called partial fractions, which is a new technique for A-level. Um, it just requires that you're a bit happy with being able to manipulate these sort of fractions before you start. So have a go at a couple of the questions from 1b, but don't go wild on them. Cool.